How's it going everybody and welcome back to Lead Therapy and thank you so very much for taking time for tuning into the video. Glock has filed patents for a rifle. Is a Glock carbine soon coming to a dealer near you? Let's take a closer look. Most of us really believe that Glock really makes a fantastic and reliable firearm and we've all heard rumors in the past of them making a rifle. At this point it appears that a Glock rifle or carbine is on the horizon. Most of what you'll see is based on information first brought out by Spartan AT, which is a German blog that first unearthed the Glock rifle patents. These are not patents for conversion kits. This is for an actual rifle with a conventional upper, lower, bolt carrier group, barrel assembly, and a fore-end design. This is what the Glock rifle patent diagram looks like. This is the diagram of the assembled Glock rifle. Next is the diagram of the rifle field stripped. You can observe these features from the diagrams. The rifle appears to have a mid-stroke 20 to 33 millimeter gas piston system. Some people have said it's like nothing we've seen before. It's annular. Annual which is derived from the mathematical term annualis, meaning a flat shape like ring, the edges being two circles that have the same center. The annular gas piston head is ring shaped and circles the barrel. When propellant gases leave the barrel through the radial gas ports, angled back toward the receiver, the piston moves longitudinally along the barrel, acting on two push rods simulated on the either side of the barrel, which then act on the bolt carrier. And this is an exploded diagram of the gas piston system. Part number 18 is the gas piston. The non-reciprocating charging handle, located above the barrel and within the forend, is ambidextrous and folds to the front when not in use. It'll have a toolless assembly and it'll be adaptable. The bolt carrier group looks similar to that of an AK since the spring is at the top of the carrier. It appears to be fairly small with few parts, something Glock is known for. This is the Glock rifle patent cutaway diagram of the barrel. The barrel has two gas ports. The gas piston is in the forward position in figure A and the rearward position in figure B. Next is the Glock carbine diagram of the bolt and bolt carrier group. In this diagram, you see the extractor mechanism. This is the Glock carbine patent diagram of the quick detach barrel. The Glock carbine will have a free floating, quick change, interchangeable barrel. To attach, slide into position, twist, and secure with the clamping lever. This is the Glock rifle patent cutaway diagram of the quick detach barrel. This is the Glock rifle patent diagram of the magazine, mag catch, and parts. The two part ambidextrous magazine catch system is similar to an AR-15 design, but without any springs. With the toolless design, the two-part magazine catch won't have any screws. So of course there's some things we don't know. Will it be an AR platform, semi-auto, select fire, both or neither? What caliber will it be chambered in? Most people are guessing it will be 5.56 by 45, but that is conjecture only. What will it be made of? Glock is known for their polymer pistols, but it's never good to make assumptions. What about the furniture? Is it going to be M-Lock, key mod, pick rail, or something new? Who will the Glock rifle be available to? Everyone or military law enforcement restricted? What will the Glock rifle magazines look like? By the diagrams, the magazine looks similar, but not quite the same as an AR-15 style magazine. As of yet, there isn't a patent for a Glock rifle magazine. Maybe there will ultimately be a PCC that runs on Glock's extent magazines. And now all we have to do is wait. How long will it be before we see the new Glock rifle at your local gun store? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Do you think if Glock follows through with this, will it be out before the end of the year? And if so, what do you think the price point is gonna be? As always, if you enjoyed the video and if I gave you some information that you didn't know, please like, share, and subscribe and hit those post notifications. And I will see you in the next video.